to another episode of the Goobers. Goobers, episode unknown, with it's Brandathan. Like something. Nathan. Jupiter. Well, I was the only one going with the Brandathan, because uh, Sean isn't here. Well, what so, would I be, Nathathan? Yeah, Nathathan. Nathathan. That's some Baltimore speak right there. <laughs> Nathathan. Sneak a slack up on the base of sand. You know? God, I haven't missed that. Anyways, Nathan was talking about how he's going to be a virgin forever alone uh, uh, for the rest of his life because he's watching anime now. Basically, I've started watching Attack on Titan and I'm getting uh, judged for it harshly by Brandon. Well, how far into Attack on Titan are you? Like, uh, not I'm even on the first 17th season. episode. So, is that still in the first season? I don't yeah. know. Any. So, you haven't even gotten to the part where, like... No spoilers. Like, how, how far have you... Like, what happens? Like, give me the plot. So okay, I hold up. You Do you know yeah. a lot about this show? Are you are you admitting something here? I'll get to that later. I was asking Whoa, Nathan a okay. question. Um, I'm at the part where... Well, if you've seen the show, the big muscle-looking female titan... Oh, okay, yeah. And just turned thing. into the titan. All right. I don't know who that lady is, if yep. it is a specific person. I, I think her name is part. Anne or something. She has the blonde hair. Yeah. Yeah, she turns into boob titan. <laughs> sure. And Nathan was talking about how he likes the uh, the really explicit ones. That, no, that was the opposite that go on of what adult. I was saying. You hate Pokemon, and you like you the ones with... twisting my words immensely. No, I, I'm pretty sure you said that, Nathan. Pokemon is awesome. Sometimes Pokemon it's over the top. Pokemon went so hard, yeah, so did. bad. It After did. Disney bought it, it became ass. I didn't even know Pokemon Disney bought it. Yeah, it's on Disney XD now, and he Ash now has is now the champion of the Alola region. They finally gave him a championship and changed his entire animation style. Okay. And Sometimes I really can't watch things because the animation style is just trash. Yeah, they did. How do you mean? Like it's like the new SpongeBob. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. What you like mean. Camp Coral, even if I knew that it would be good, I couldn't watch it. I can't yeah. do that animation style. There are just some animation styles that just really hurt my eyes. <laughs> I'm usually okay with it, but like now watching like Attack on Titan, I look back at Invincible and it's like this. Yeah, this, it sucks. This sucks. Like, that, wow. The studio that made it almost went bankrupt because that's the only thing they make, and they make it so high quality. Well, that like, they, they ran out of money every single time to make a season. You a camera angle where you follow... I forget what her name is. It starts with an M. Mikasa. How would you, ju- how would you judge her for watching Attack Just like, keep, go- you know keep talking. About it. It's like she like flies through the air using her the big grapple thingies. And it's just the camera follows her the entire way. It follows like, her yeah. swords and then they like, cut through the giant's like neck. Yep. And it follows her swords all the way through. Like, yeah, they have, cool they have some great animation. Yeah. Too bad that uh, it's, it's ending pretty soon. I think it might have already ended. I don't know. I, but, I think my friend said the fourth was kind of the last. Yeah, this is the last season right now. Oh. And even if it wasn't, they probably wouldn't have enough money to make another one. Because, again, they almost go bankrupt every single time they want to make a season. They had to make half a season last time and then wait for all the money to come in to make a next one. <laughs> I didn't know that's what happened. Anyways, it's weird watching like another culture. Yeah, like how they do animation and and how it's so much better than ours because it's it's better, but like sometimes I cringe. Dude, American animation. That's what's funny. (laughs) Like in the mid two thousands, was so good, and then it fell off. Like uh, like Treasure Island and stuff. Like the stuff around that, that was so good, and then it toppled off, and now we have stuff like Teen Titans Go and Camp Coral. Anyways, don't how give do me you that know look. So don't much? give me that look. How do you don't know so much look. about Brandon? Um, Attack on Titans. Don't worry about how I know so much about you the said you didn't tell us. N- Naruto. I don't remember a single one of their names, and you, you're just like, oh, this person. Look, I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of friends that are weebs. All right. Okay, what's the blonde hair kid's name? Argument. Okay, you can't give me you can't give me the three main characters of the show and be like, how oh, do you know their name? Okay, what about that dude with like the black hair part on the side? 
was in like the He's first also season. a main character. Not really. Levi, yeah, he no, is. Not Levi. Levi, Aaron, Mikaza, and Armin. Those are the main characters. Not Levi. He is. No, I'm not talking about Levi. Oh, not Levi? Well, I in that this case, was I don't know. name because it's said all the time. Oh, well, in that case, I don't know. Marco. Do you know who that is? No. Big fan. The, the, oh, yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I watched, like, a few episodes when it was airing on Adult Swim, and uh, I have no choice but to listen through the plot summaries as... <laughs> Like, when I remember hanging out with friends, because they're just like, oh, you hear the new Attack on Titan thing? And I was like, well, I didn't, but I know someone else in this car probably did. Yeah, I don't know. Special guest, Billy Moss. You can't Hello. say last names. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm famous anyways. Anyway. Yeah. Billy Moss 7 on TikTok, go follow him. Uh, we're making fun of Nathan for, for being a virgin and finally getting into the anime. Um... For nice. finally getting... I don't understand what you're, like, trying to do here. Because you're saying finally getting into anime. Yeah, because it was inevitable at some point for you, Nathan. You hang out with Ryan. That's anime rocks. rocks. I love anime. Yeah. Which one? Dragon Ball and... One, one Punch, Punch Man. Man. I watched Inuyasha. I watched... One Dude, Piece. Inuyasha was exactly. good. Yeah. One Piece. Bleach. Bleach. I need to need watch Bleach. I've always heard good things about it. Bang, bang. It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, anime. I'll have to exit the podcast. Uh, it's the Thanks for having me on the special guest. Yeah, round of applause for. Points for my grade. It does. It does. Yeah, round of applause for Billy. Yay! You better shout out the podcast and give us twenty million views. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. We'll, we'll just put. Them. We'll put guest starring Billy. Yeah, featuring then... Lil Bill. Lil Bill. Bill. That's that's in the title. Helen Keller isn't real, featuring oh, <laughs> a God. little bit. We you know, need to stop. With, we won't talk about that today. It's not controversial, all right? It's You're kind of making it controversial, yeah. Either way, we won't talk about it today. I was also against talking about it. That was that was the last resort content. The <laughs> last resort content. It always will be. But now, right now, we're focusing on how... Nathan, well... Is this what this episode's gonna be? Yeah, just us shitting on you for... I watched, like, one episode of One Punch Man. Um, maybe one... Not even a full episode of My Hero Academia. And then I watched Your Lie in April. And that's it. I have no clue what that last one is. I don't know. It was on Netflix. It was on the recommended... This is like the first. I thing just watched I've every before. episode of Demon Slayer like two weeks ago, so I have no room to talk. But yeah, you've been talking so much smack. Yeah, you're just talking Billy about like watching anime. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm not a weeb, but it's a good show. I just have a body pillow. Two of them. Don't diss my body pillow. <laughs> Don't diss my waifu. Dude, oh Mad- God. thank God Maddox isn't here. He'd be able to, like, hear us talking, like... <laughs> like, he'd hear the vibrations through the floor of us just saying anything. The uh, printer's going off, merely Japanese. And he'd barge in here and start ranting about whatever the hell. Yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> Anyways, did you... You didn't catch the Paul Askren fight, did you? You don't know well. Oh, you know. no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Well, all right, I'm going to get that in a second. But the fight before it, I forget who was fighting, but there was uh, two, obviously two dudes, right? Mm-hmm. And the first round, right, a guy goes down and was like, oh, no, it hurts too bad. I can't fight. Well, it turns out they replayed the video. The the guy who punched him, like, they, he said that he went here and I hit him, like, I don't know if that's where the liver is. Actually, no, it's on the left side, but they like, hit him in the liver and dropped him. Like, oh, no, it hurts too bad. It didn't work. But he actually went around, and only his wrist hit there. And he just dropped and tried to say, oh, this guy's too good, so he didn't have to forfeit and look like a coward. <laughs> it was like it was like first round, too. He was getting his butt whooped, and he was like, nope, nope, I'm calling it here. Uh, no. And then, uh, yeah, Askren got TKO'd within the first. Got like five punches. The sixth one brought I him to the ground. About like 
how disappointing that was. I mean, yeah, but when you have a dude who's built, who, like, all he does is film vlogs and lift weights all day, versus a dude who's built, like, a substitute teacher. Mm hmm. I saw a comment on, like, something. I don't remember if it was this fight or another, but it was like, I watched this illegally on the internet and I still want my money back. Yeah. Dude, I, I felt the same way when I saw it on Instagram. Like, dude, this isn't even worth following this Instagram page anymore. <laughs> when I, I felt the same way, too, after the, the Tyson-Roy Jones fight. No, oh, I watched part of that. It was... They looked like they just were hugging each other. The yeah, because that's, that's, that's somewhat normal for heavyweight. Because in heavyweight, they don't, like, go in guns blazing and try to hit each other. Like, you know, they don't go super fast, like, in lightweight. Because they can't. Because they're both, like, 510 pounds. <laughs> right? That's dangerous. They wait for the, the opponent to mess up and then punish them. But Mike was the only one doing the punishing. Roy got a total of, like, 15 hits that entire match. And the rest of the time, he was just really low to the ground, blocking, and just walking around Tyson. He could have won that. But, no, it ended in a tie because it was, it was rigged, even though Tyson won that hand over fist. Yeah, I is that what is that what it was supposed to look like? Because it was kind of boring to watch. I yeah. mean, I watched it illegally on the internet. As did I. But <laughs> but yeah, that's how it was supposed to. Normally, they're like a lot more fast paced, but that is kind of the basics of a heavyweight fight. You have to be really into boxing and into heavyweight to watch that stuff. Because it's the most boring version of it, I'll be honest. It's like high school wrestling. Yeah, also, that's that's another thing about Askren. He was a wrestler. He wasn't good at punching. He was good at grabbing you and bringing you to the ground. Uh, and that's why he was in the UFC. I also think he has the fastest knockout. But not as in he knocked someone else the fastest. As in, yeah. yeah. Like, I think it was five seconds. <laughs> you get knocked out that fast. Uh... Dude had a running start from the opposite end of the octagon and kneed him in the face, like, in between the eyes and, like, a note, like, right here. And he just dropped immediately. Fastest match in the UFC. Jeez. I've ever seen this one video of this dude who was just, like, this cocky piece of crap. He was just, like, sitting there, just, like, stepping back, just, like, taunting the dude who was fighting him. He got knocked out within the first, like, 15 seconds because he was being so cocky. Dude, seeing UFC fighters, like, out in the real world fighting people is always, like, the best thing ever. Because I remember, I forget who it was, but it wasn't in Ghana, it wasn't John Jones. I can't think of who it was. But he is, he's heavyweight, and he was a champion at the time. He was at a bar with a bunch of his friends. This one asshole comes in and starts causing a ruckus. The ruckus. Yeah, I can't say that word right. Ruckus? Yeah. yeah. Ruckus. Did I say that right? Yeah. All right. And being a general nuisance. And so he's messing with everyone. He just comes up behind him and just nonchalantly puts him in a chokehold and is like, shh, it's okay. It'll all be over. It'll all be over. His friends are like, don't, don't worry. He does this for a living. It's, it's, don't struggle. You'll make it worse. <laughs> and like, you know, three seconds later, he's just like limp on the floor. The cops are there. They, are, they arrest the dude who got knocked out. <laughs> I do want to watch that. Just think that guy was just in the right. It's just like yeah, and then other times you get like what Conor McGregor did, or like he went up to like a sixty-year-old man at a bar and was like, "Drink my whiskey." He was like, "No, I don't want to drink your goddamn whiskey. Drink my whiskey." No, and they started beating his ass. Jeez. He just started wailing on a senior citizen. Oh my God. Yeah, Conor does what he wants. It's it's, it's weird. <sighs> then he got his butt handed to him by Khabib. Good. Anyways, uh, that's the end of the episode. Episode 19. Maybe. 20? We don't know anymore. Have a nice day, fellas. Bye. Bye. Bye.